Ferrari, a team steeped in a 70-year history and double that in terms of drivers, many of whom dream of winning a championship in Scarlet and emulating the great Nicky Lauda, Alberto Ascari, or even Michael Schumacher. However, there are the Ferrari champions that never were. Drivers who already achieved the height of a world championship before they made a move to Ferrari seeking further success. Success which never came. Fernando Alonso, double world champion of 2005 and 2006, ending the Schumacher reign. He made his move to Ferrari in 2010, scoring five victories in his first Scarlet year, including his very first outing in Bahrain and an emotional victory in Italy in front of the Tifosi. Alonso scored 10 podiums on his way to end the season with 252 points, just four points behind the champion of that year, Sebastian Vettel, after a missed strategy opportunity in Abu Dhabi. Alonso himself led the championship many times during his first year, even going into the last round where he held a 15-point lead over the German. But sadly, a title he could not achieve. Alonso's next title shot in red came in 2012 after a lacklustre 2011 season. The Spaniard scored himself three victories, including one of, if not his very best, in Valencia from P14 on the grid. He scored 13 podiums, the most of any driver that season, and ended on 278 points, just three behind the champion of that year, Sebastian Vettel, once again. In an underperforming car, Alonso was able to wrangle a title challenge all the way to the last round, but it wasn't quite enough. 2013 was another lacklustre year in red, with 2014 being the final year, scoring just a handful of podiums and no wins. Sebastian Vettel, four-time world champion from 2010 to 2013, turned his sights to Ferrari after a disappointing 2014 season to emulate his childhood hero Michael Schumacher and bring home a title in red. The first real chance to do so came in the 2017 season after a regulation overhaul. Vettel won five times this year, including the season opener and in Monte Carlo. He went on to score 13 podiums to boot in an impressive outing, finishing on 317 points, but it was not quite enough to challenge the might of Mercedes. Vettel did, however, lead the championship in the first half of the season, but retirements in both Singapore and Japan cost him dearly in the second half. The second title challenge for Sebastian came in 2018, taking once again five victories, winning the opening two rounds of the season and taking 12 podiums, scoring three more points than his previous year, ending on 320. Once again holding a promising first half of the season, he fell away at the start of the second half, where a more consistent and more dominant Hamilton beat him to the title once again. The following 2019 and 2020 seasons saw a poor performance from the German, and he left Ferrari titleless. Alain Prost, at the time three-time Formula One world champion, having endured a titanic battle with Ayrton Senna at McLaren, he moved to Ferrari with the aim of winning his fourth title in red. His only title challenge came in 1990, where he took five victories that season, including one on his 100th Grand Prix start in France. He scored himself nine podiums this year and ended on 73 points, taking the title down to the wire and finishing just five behind Ayrton Senna. Having led the championship just the once, this was to be Prost's last Ferrari title challenge after being dropped by the team the following year. Nino Farina, the first world champion of the sport, made his move to Ferrari after the departure of Alfa Romeo. He was partnered with the great Alberto Ascari for his only title challenge in red for 1952, taking zero wins, but also four podiums overall. And in a season where just your four best results count, he ended on 24 points to Ascari's 36, who took six wins in an eight-round season. Farina never led the championship in 1952, 
and his years after were in a scary shadow until he left the sport in 1955. Even with a world championship secured, moving to Ferrari is no guarantee of further success in a similar manner to Michael Schumacher. Will there be another champion to move to Ferrari seeking further success and leave titleless? Let me know in the comments down below.